Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can set up Aviva Edge to populate event and historical database into Microsoft SQL Server Express. But before you do any of those, you're gonna have to install Microsoft SQL Server Express. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna demonstrate using uh, SQL Server Express 2019. And I've also installed Microsoft SQL Server Studio so that I can actually run SQL command and look at the tables and whatnot without having to enter a command line. Okay, once you install your SQL Server, what you need to do is launch your SQL Server Studio and then connect. Right click on Server, go Properties, Securities, and uh, allow yourself to log in using SQL Server Authentication. Once that is done, uh, go expand security and add a user called SA. Once you get the user SA set up, change your password to your SA, confirm the password. And once that's done, let's go to status and then enable or allow you to log in using login. So next thing you have to do is to create a new database and then I give it a name and let's have a quick look at options and option looks good file group looks good general and then let's hit ok so now your this sql server is complete what we're going to do is to restart the sql uh, server uh, let's go to configuration manager here stop your services and then restart it again and let's close this window and we're going to start Aviva Edge 2020 Studio and set up a database connection using projects, options, and default database. Click on the ellipsal and enter the SA password here. Once you're done with the password, select your database that you just created and test your connection. Once it's done, click OK. Enter the SA password one more time. And then click OK and then click OK here again. So let's minimize uh, our studio here and launch our SQL Server Management Studio one more time. So I'm going to show you that uh, without running the uh, Aviva Edge, there's no table in our new database. As you can see, there's no table here. Oops, sorry. Okay, so let's park this on the side and park Aviva Edge on the right-hand side and hit Run. So once the Viva Studio is running, let's refresh our database. And what you'll see is you'll see there's four new tables that the Viva Edge has created. Just like that. See, so historical is, let's look at historical and do the first uh, last thousand rows. You'll see that the historical has populated some data records in there. And let's look at event history, uh, right click on event history and select top 1000 and you can see uh, Aviva has already start populating the database anyway that uh, concludes uh, the demonstration if you like my video please give me a like or subscribe to my video so i can give you a notification of when the next Aviva Edge Studio tutorial will be available thanks and have a good day bye